Okay, so I had a few left hands uh, beers already, and I do constantly say they make tons of other beers, not just the stouts and the porters, but I always tend to go towards those ones <laughs> because they're really good. So <clears throat> it's already out. If you're already looking, Oktoberfest beers. So it's usually, uh, was it, like Munich style, like the original ones, not the Pilsner. So in reality, I was over there, I was in Munich, and it's just everyone drinks pills like all day long. And in the end, it's terrible. A lot of people are getting <laughs> sent to jail and stuff. Some people are peeing all over the place. It's not always as pretty as you see on TV, um, but it's fun. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, but they have like Bohemian style, things like that. Just, you know, different ones that were darker beers that were just uh, very prevalent at the time. So this is more on that style. So when you see Oktoberfest beers, it's one specific style of beer that they're really bringing back and for the festivities, stuff like that. People that really want to celebrate in that manner. And then you got your pumpkin beer. So when I do bring it up, I will clearly, obviously it's marked, but I will also state. So this is an October fest beer. That's the point of this. So hey, you're right, left hand. Let's go. And then that notion, gotta have the stein. Well, this is just a big old beer mug, but anyways, same concept. It's a little bit ambery, very dark, golden, beautiful color. Uh, some will be more brown, some will be more orange, but. The malt on them is always phenomenal. And I just brewed today, so like having that fresh smell of the, of the, the malt just steeping, it just really helps you smell it in the beer. So definitely getting that more than the hops. So it has a slight, small little tang on the sides, but the hops kick in first, you get the slight bitter, and then it's all malt from there, but this one was made just right, so it's very dry. My girlfriend tends to like these more. I like the ones that might have, it seems like they're more sweet. It's just the way the grain is, is so rich and full of nutrients. It leaves that little bit uh, in the background. So it seems almost as if it's sweet from it. Cause honestly, when you make the wort, it really is sugary. It's really sweet. But once the yeast get to town on it, it really lightens up the sweetness and takes it down a notch or a few. And then you get a beautiful balance of beer and the hops are in there. So they start showing more and more because they just been sitting there waiting to shine. And finally they come out when the, grain was uh, sugars are eaten down so there you go prost solid one by left hand like i said they make tons of good one there'll be a bunch of them so i like peronalis and i don't know why per peronalis is not my favorite one but it's definitely a solid one and that one tends to be one of the last ones to drink up i don't know what it is so but i'll get that one again i'll show you all about it but here we go do get ready <laughs> tour fest is coming be safe have fun hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit of sunshine and get out and have a few beers so cheers to that